guys, I'm in Texas. I put on a little bit of makeup. I'm sorry if all you hear is fan noises right now. There are three fans going because it is warm. But yeah, I'm in Texas. I'm here to visit Matt. My husband Matt plays in the MLR and he's playing for the Dallas Jackals. And he was meant to have this week off because there's not a game this weekend. They call it a bye week. But then last minute he had to stay um, and do stuff in Dallas and in Arlington, Arlington, Texas. I love that I left Arlington, Virginia and now I'm in Arlington, Texas. So, and that was super last minute. He was meant to be coming up. Um, and then like a day and a half before he was like, oh, actually I have to be here, please come down. So I'm here. This is my second morning here. I'm not gonna lie, the trip has been kind of chaotic so far. My first night that I was here, I stayed with him. He gets like player housing while he's here, but he shares with other people. And so we had decided like before he moved down here, you know, if I'm coming for a weekend or whatever, we'll just stay at his place. But if I'm gonna come for a week or something, I have all my work, I've got filming stuff. I don't wanna annoy roommates or anything. We should just get like an Airbnb so that we can have some privacy and I can like have space to work and everything. So we had last, I had like last minute found this Airbnb and we showed up there yesterday and the vibe was just weird. There was a broken bed frame in the backyard. There was broken glass. The listing looked kind of different. And you know, you just like get a gut feeling and you're like, I don't know about this. I think I need to get out. That's what we felt yesterday. So we tried to cancel the listing, like the reservation, and we weren't able to get a refund, which I'm super not happy about. But at the same time, I was like, I feel physically unsafe because of all these weird things that are going on. So maybe I just have to take the L on that. So kind of in mourning right now over that, but we found this other Airbnb um, and it's nice. So all good. I've been just like five degrees, 10 degrees too warm since I landed here. And you guys know me, you know that like, that's my, that's my one thing. Like I am not a hot weather girl. So I don't know how I'm gonna handle the next couple of months. I have to love somebody so much to willingly brave hot weather for them so that should really tell you something about my relationship with Matt like this person really is my world because I'm gonna be coming to Texas in the summer for this and I'm a little worried so in terms of today there's a Rangers game Taylor Swift was just here like three days ago very sad that I'm not seeing Taylor Swift so far maybe I shouldn't limit myself I have been trying in so many different ways to get Eras tickets and I haven't been able to if you know anyone who was getting rid of their Ares tickets, let me know. I have been a Taylor Swift fan literally since 2006. Like, I'm not kidding. I used to steal my mom's iPad, iPod classic when I was younger than 10 years old to listen to 15. Um, I have literally been here since the beginning, but I wasn't able to get tickets and that's, that's my burden to bear. But anyway, yeah, we might go to a Rangers game. We really, really like baseball games. They're super fun. It's obviously been so, so nice to be with Matt. It's been a couple of weeks since we've seen each other and I've lived alone multiple times in my life, but this has by far been the hardest time. Please don't be empty. Oh no. Yeah, this has by far been the hardest time because this time I'm living alone, you know, while I'm in, I'm like married and it's a lot different. Living alone when you're married and you really want to be with that person is a lot different than living alone when you're just like, chilling, enjoying your life. I've been keeping super busy, obviously. I've been seeing my friends, throwing myself into work and my hobbies. Still, I've not been enjoying the distance at all. Neither of us have. The thing with the sports world is that it changes a lot. Um, things are up in the air sometimes and like it, it's, it can be hard to plan and make life plans when your partner is in sports. We're just gonna see how this year goes and see what happens and see what comes next. We have literally no plans. Um, our lease in Virginia is up in July. We had originally signed a 10 month lease because we thought this summer our, we were thinking about moving out of state and where we moved out of state would be kind of dependent on obviously our work, mainly his career because everything I do is online. But whether we're moving in July or we're renewing our lease to the end of the year, I have no idea. No idea at all. There are no plans. There are like things that we would love if they happen. Like there's definitely things I'm manifesting. But let me tell you, the last couple of years of my life have been an absolute masterclass 
on adapting when things don't go the way you planned and you just have to roll with the punches. All you can hear in this whole Airbnb is just fans. Every single fan is on. I'm done with my makeup. I finished a lot of work. Matt is on his way home, so I think I'm gonna make him some food. We don't really have a ton of stuff. I forgot that I wasn't wearing pants. We have eggs, mushrooms, avocado, pepper, onion. I think I'm gonna make a filthy little Western-inspired egg omelet breakfast burrito situation. If we do end up going to this baseball game, I would like to get a hot dog. I feel like that's just part of the experience. It's not the prettiest situation in the world, but it will feed a hungry man. We're on our way to the Rangers game. Welcome back, Matt, the vlog. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. Matt, can you say a few words about Texas? Now that, um, you're, <clears throat> now that you're a citizen. Yeah, it's big, it's hot, it's a good time. <laughs> I'm so happy to be with you this week. I'm happy to have you. But Matt just loves sports and I like live sporting events because I like the energy and I like the excitement and I love getting hot dogs. <laughs> like that's actually the number one reason. Okay, hey guys, we're back home. The game was so fun. I really like baseball games. I just think they're really easy to follow along if you're not a mega sports person. And I just love the energy of being in a baseball game. It's just so fun. So we're back at the Airbnb and I need to do some more work. I was kind of getting stressed for like the last 25 minutes of the game because I was just thinking about things that I have to get done by the end of the day. So I'm finishing up some work for the day and then yeah. I need to get this vlog up. I'm trying to be super consistent on YouTube right now. So I need to get this vlog up. Little sneak peek. Actually, you've probably already seen it at this point. So ignore this. It felt bad rooting for the Rangers against Baltimore because obviously Baltimore is so much closer to my team, which is the Nats. Um, so like regionally, I felt like I should be rooting for Baltimore because I live in the DMV, but win in Texas. So go Rangers. There's not a part of me that wants to say no mm -hmm. But I have realized I had to let go oh, oh, Cause something's broken And I'm the reason It's not that easy Knowing you'll do better without me Without me Bag secured. Boot secured. Yeah. Boots secured. Got myself a pair of uh, Nakana? Nakona? Nakona boots. Nakona. Ready Se for the rodeo. Possibly third, possibly fourth hand, possibly yeah. second, possibly eighth. They look no. fantastic though. Hey guys. So we just. Boom, bye. We just walked around the Bishop Arts District for a while. So much, so cute, so much fun. First we went to La La Land, which had the best matcha menu I've ever seen in a coffee shop. Like the most options for matcha drinks, incredible. And then we drove to Bishop Arts and we walked around and we really liked it. It's good. It's very cute here. Yeah, it was very cute. I got a couple of things I'll show you later. Thank you to everyone who recommended La La Land because it was very, very good. So cute inside, and I've just never seen so many options for a matcha. Kind of a nice day. It's like 65 and cloudy out, which is nice for walking around. Kind of tired. Are you tired? Yeah, I'm a wee bit sleepy. Yeah. Crazy thing about Dallas is that everything is so far apart and you have to drive. And that's been, that was my impression last time I was here, but again, this time, like, there's just no way I could be here without a car. But I also don't even know if I could drive here. I'd have to get really good. This city is huge. Yeah, Huge. Mega. Go practice, huh? Yeah, I was bullied at Sundance Kid. Well, all 
Homer John. Doe. Give us a little, a little saunter. <laughs> your cowboy walk. Slightly like weight towards the front of your knees. Quick draw. <laughs> I'm dragging back in, 7.30. I just had a massive planning spree on Notion and I completely redid my Notion and I put all my tasks for next week and for April in because I was looking at my Google Calendar and I started to get really, really, really stressed and anxious. We got back, I showered, and then we just laid in bed on our phones not talking to each other for a little while. I kind of love that though. I kind of miss that when he's not in Arlington with me, although I'm in Arlington right now. Arlington, Virginia, you know what I mean. Yeah, we just had some phone time. And now after my Notion frenzy, I'm feeling a little bit better. Honestly, not much. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be busy, you know? I feel like I try to reset my mindset and just live in gratitude because being busy is a blessing. But I think we're gonna watch The Boys now. We started this show earlier this week when I got here and we're already in the second season. But a lot of people recommended it to me, like people I know, and we really like it. It's so messed up. And I have to like avert my gaze a bunch of times every episode because it's so graphic and so gory. Um, but I do really like it. I think it's sharp and topical. Matt did get those boots and he looks incredible in them. But the only other thing I got was this print. It's this Leo print and it has this chart. It has little blurbs about your compatibility with the other zodiac signs and it says like your plants and your tarot, your element, your ruling house. I just think it's so cute. I also got one in Aries for my friend's birthday because her birthday is coming up soon. I actually don't know if you watch these vlogs, Julia. If you do, pretend you didn't see that. Hey guys, I am getting ready to enter a therapy call. I've taken the last like three therapist appointments from bed. I feel guilty doing that because I feel like it makes my situation look concerning. <laughs> I'm In some ways I'm doing really well lately and in some ways I'm doing really badly. So that's always fun. Yeah, I have a lot to talk about today. So I'm in trauma therapy and so in between appointments like week to week, I will like make notes of things that I want to talk about so I don't forget to bring anything up. And we've been focusing a lot lately on like inner child stuff and early childhood wounds. I am really excited to tell my therapist that I drove last week. I think she'll be proud of me. Is that bad to want a therapist to be proud of you? I also have to talk to my psychiatrist next week because I need medication refills and I think I need to, I don't know, adjust some things because like I said, there are like certain areas like my OCD is really bad lately. Like it's really, really bad. So I don't know. Prioritize your mental health, even when you're traveling, period. So I finished therapy a little bit ago and then I just took some time to kind of decompress and get my thoughts back in order. It was a good session. I had a lot of like notes from things that have happened in the last week or so that I wanted to talk about because I feel like I've just been I don't know, having some self-discoveries, having a lot of moments of introspection and realizing that I have some like wounds from early development that I haven't really addressed that for a variety of reasons. It just feels like some things are coming out right now. It takes a lot of like really critical self-reflection, which is good, but it's tough. And then you like add in the bipolar and the OCD and it just sometimes feels like there's a lot of layers and it's hard if I'm like having a negative experience, like a bad feeling, a bad day, a bad mood, um, or like a, just like a bad experience, sometimes it's hard to determine like what's causing this. Like is this mental illness? Is this trauma? Is it, what is it? Um, and I don't always know the answer to that. I'm really proud of myself for making therapy a priority this year. It's been a big goal of mine for a while. I've kind of been like in and out, in and out of therapy for years since I was like, I think my parents put me in therapy for the first time when I was 16. Um, I've had good therapists and horrible ones. This is a good one. Working on yourself is not fun. Like 
self-care is not always this super fun like aesthetic face masks and bubble baths thing and I think that's part of it and it's an important part of it but like in my experience self-care is a lot of like sitting in uncomfortable feelings going through unhappy memories trying to make yourself better so I don't know ow I got this filling recently on this side of my mouth and I think I need to go in and get it checked because it hurts when I floss and sometimes it's uncomfortable to chew on this side and it's like a fresh filling and it didn't feel like that before. Your girl is clearly like going through it dentally lately. I wish this wasn't the case because I feel like as someone with a platform who has mental illnesses who like talks about them, I feel like it's bad for me to come on here and say that I struggle with my diagnoses because I know that some people who are also bipolar or who also have OCD like look up to me in some way, which is crazy that anyone would look up to me about anything. But sometimes I really dislike the fact that I'm bipolar and have OCD. Sometimes I really struggle with it and I resent it a lot and I feel mad at myself for having these conditions. And I'm kind of, in that headspace right now, which isn't great. Yeah, I feel guilty saying that because I feel like I need to be an advocate like 24 seven. Don't love it, don't love it. My therapist um, thinks that I have a hard time. Well, okay, you, you don't need to know that. <laughs> this is really random, but I wanted to show you. This is the reason why I started recording in the first place. I wanted to show you these two drugstore favorites that I've been using this week because I didn't bring all of my toiletries because I wanted to get stuff while I was here so I'm gonna leave it with Matt so I'm not always carrying things back and forth. So I got these two things from Walmart that I love. This is the Vanacream Gentle Facial Cleanser. Vanacream Gentle Facial Cleanser. Y'all know that I really, 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 really love the La Roche-Posay one, but Walmart didn't have it. And I like Vanacream, it's really good. It's also like very gentle for sensitive skin. So this is a good option. And it's also, I think like half the price of the La Roche-Posay. And then this body wash is the Olay Himalayan Salt and Pink Grapefruit. The Olay body washes, they just smell so good. They feel really nice. Drugstore favorites. I'm about to shower. Um, we ordered some food. Later today, we're going to the stockyards. Um, if you're also bipolar and you feel bad for not liking it, I don't know. I don't like it either sometimes, so. You guys, I started my period. See, I thought I've just been hating myself for the last 24 hours because I'm a worthless piece of human garbage who doesn't deserve to live. But I really am just on my period. What a sneaky bitch. If you guys are looking for a drugstore alternative to Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude, which I love, this is NYX Nude Truffle. And it's basically the same, and it's really good. For the longest time, I never wore lip products. I would just like do my regular makeup and then put lip balm or something on and be good to go. But once you become a lip liner person, it's really hard to stop because it just makes your lips look so juicy and big. And then this is just the Fenty Gloss in Fussy, which is the best color. It's like a universally flattering pink. Here we go, what was that? My phone fell into the gap between the seat and the console. You are the guiltiest person of doing that. Why don't they just make cars without a gap between the console and the seat? Because Seriously. you need to be able to get in there to take the seat out, I think. Well, then it could be a removable piece. That's what the lip combo looks like. My favorite way to do my lips is with Benetint, but I forgot it at home. We're on our way to Fort Yerth. Fort, Fort Yerth. <laughs> as soon as the word Yerth left my mouth, Fort I knew. Fort Yerth, y'all. Fort Yerth. I knew you were going to say Fort Yerth. I mean, it was just fucking funny and stupid. We're on our way to Fort Worth. Earth. <laughs> Shush, the stockyards. Well, first we're hoping to get there in time to see the cattle drive. That's my I'd goal. love to see some longhorns. Me too. You love cows. Matt loves cows. I think it's like a Scottish thing to like cows. Because you love Highland cows, but then you saw longhorns and you were like, ooh, those are really nice cows. I'm cramping really bad. I have a cramping tip for you guys though. If you cramp, you should switch to organic tampons because it helps a lot. My cramps used to be so much worse before I switched to organic. It's like something that in the chemicals and the cotton can make your cramps worse. So organic helps a lot, but I still do have cramps. I think tampons in general are meant to make cramps worse, but I just like, ugh, I need a tampon. I guess I could get into Diva Cups, 
but I'm kind of afraid. I have a friend who wears diva cups, but she said there was like a big learning curve. And I don't know if I'm in a place in my life to go through that kind of disruption while I go through a learning curve of a diva cup. I don't know. No matter what I say, no matter my regrets, things still been said and done. Mm -hmm. There's not a part We made it and we saw the cow. Something's broken And I'm the reason It's not that easy Knowing you'll do better without me Without me Without me mm -hmm. Good morning It's actually 3.20 in the afternoon So it's fully not morning But we're getting some raising canes and we're gonna go walk around. Sorry, I keep looking at this because it's above the camera. It's very distracting, but I'm not trying to be annoying. We're getting raising canes, and then we're gonna go walk around. Ooh, is it which? White Creek Park? Is that what it's called? White Rock. White Rock Lake. And we're gonna go look at the lake. And the we're houses. gonna go look at the lake and rich people houses. We love looking at rich people's houses. It's kind of like manifesting, you know. I've never tried a sandwich from here. I've had tenders. I do. But not a sandwich, I know. There's like three tenders in this sandwich. I'm telling you, this is the best bread ever. This is, let's do a little taste test. Oh my god, I lost a tender. I don't, I thought it was gonna be a patty. Oh, it's a chicken tender sandwich. Oh yeah, I thought it was gonna be a patty. Oh. Okay, review. It's hot. Yeah. It's not bad. I wish it was spicy. But there aren't a ton of menu options and there's no like spicy chicken tender or sandwich option. I like the menu's pretty simple. Yeah, it is simple and I... It's like not bad, but... It's to the point. I like how Popeyes and Chick-fil-A have spicy options. Yeah. I was looking on that menu for a hot sauce and they didn't have any. I'm gonna give this... A 7 out of 10. And the lemonade... Mm, lemonade's not bad. Lemonade's pretty good. Bread is like a nine for me. I think the bread's awesome. Really? Yeah, chicken's great as well. I want to try Whataburger next because I've never had Whataburger. Mario? I have cramps again. It's unfortunate. We saw a really cute husky who jumped in the lake to go chase some ducks, but his owner had him on a leash and the leash had like extended all the way. So the husky was just like dog paddling and not going anywhere. <laughs> Really cute. I want a golden retriever mat real bad. Real bad. This ice cream truck has me feeling murderous. It was very peaceful before the ice cream truck. Guys, that's a house. Matt, what do you think of that one? If I had a house like that, I'd have a master bedroom, two guest rooms, a library, complete with a fireplace and a big overstuffed leather chair to read in. And then I'd do an office. And then I'd have a craft room. And then Man. maybe a like reading room. And then you'd have to have a games room. Is a library not the same as a reading room? No, because the reading <laughs> no, no. The library's purely for the collection like of a, books. You need like a TV and games room. Guys, manifesting. <laughs> you just watch. I'm trying to show you guys my outfit. This top is from Free People. These shorts, I know I've been talking about Abercrombie shorts nonstop, but seriously, they're so good. These are the dad shorts. And this bag's from Princess Polly and my Relirelio necklace, obviously. Good morning. It's Sunday and it's my last full day here. And I'm really upset and sad. But we've come to the Dallas Farmer's Market and I'm super excited. I've been wanting to come here for a while. This is like one of the biggest things I've wanted to do in Dallas, so I'm really excited. I want to get food, I'd like to get some breakfast, maybe a little iced drink. And then we should buy stuff to make dinner tonight. Yeah, we should. Think. Yeah, I can see a coffee roaster right now. We've got to take a little break. We are tearing up this Farmer's Market. I've already bought things from like four different places. I just got this 32 ounce peach Arnold Palmer in a mason jar. My God, it's good. And now we're eating, 
We just tore up a sausage roll. We have a sourdough cinnamon bun. Real. I've gotten, guys, we've already bought so many things. Like, I'm gonna have to give you a haul. Did you eat the whole middle? What? Look at the, look at this. Guilty. You finished my sausage roll. I, what on earth? You finished my sausage roll. 